Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today we have a crap ton of stuff to go over on the character. Um, video is going to be a little out of order since I'm going to try to compact so much stuff into it. This is the day three progression and we got a ton of shit done. Uh, for example, we're sitting on two divines here, not to include uh, what we found and actually sold. So whenever I have like really big sales, if I'm not going to do upgrades, I'm just going to show you here what I'm selling so I don't have to make a clip of it. Uh, one of the main things is we dropped a Divine Teardrop uh, from our Atlas. This is part of Beyond. Very, very rare. And then we got two Golden Oils, which are close to a Divine each. And then we dropped a, a Horned Scarab of Awakening. So this together is going to elevate the character to the next tier. You'll notice I'm already wearing a Six Link and a Shaper Shield. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into a Toxic Sewers so you can see the current Atlas and basically what it is that I am farming. If you guys watch the day one video or even like me talking about what we're going to do, I had a plan to go ahead and run Blight. Uh, I have actually now enacted that plan. We are running Blight in the sewers. Um, it is a Delhi Beyond Blight Atlas and it's working out pretty well right now. Okay, let me go ahead and jump in and show you guys what the character is like. Now, it's still pretty weak. We've only played for about 22 hours. Right, so three days for me. They've come to you to die. We got a you lot of upgrades to come, especially with this currency. I don't think the character is really worth much at all right now. So anyway, to talk about my six link, since that's... I mean, technically, actually, my shield is the most expensive piece right now. So the six link, essentially, we bought a decent cloak of flame for about 30 chaos. And I have a lot of these trades saved, but it's literally going to be 10 minutes of me going through trades. So I don't think it's really relevant to show all of the screenshots. It's so much work here. Uh, but anyway, we bought the cloak base for about 30 chaos. So it was expensive because we got a high roll on the fire res and the ignite duration. You don't have to. It's just what I prefer. And then actually, fusings are so cheap right now because people, you know, later into the leagues don't really care too much about six linking. And if they do, they're using like Black Morrigan or they're using the Omen of Connections. Uh, so essentially, fusings are are so cheap. Yesterday, we were actively buying fusings at um, 45, actually more. So we were buying them 95 fusings for one chaos. And then uh, I actually had someone in my chat tell me they've been flipping fusings, buying them at 200 Sierra. 200 fusings for a chaos and then selling them back at a 100 to 1 ratio so very funny stuff i ended up buying most of them at about 95 per i bought some at 45 per but the point i'm trying to make is six linking with fusings right now is incredibly cheap because of the price of fusings right it literally if you buy them at 100 for one chaos you can get a six link for 15 chaos because 1500 fusings is equal to that the only downside is you have to pay the gold cost, but gold is not really a problem for me, as I do map a lot, so gold is kind of just free. Other than that, um, I'd say one of the other places a lot of my currency went into is actually rolling jewels. Uh, rolling jewels and then buying exalt orbs. And I'll talk about the crafting process of each piece of gear that we have performed on right after this map. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what this mapping looks like. Oh shit. Okay, okay, I'm stuck. I really need a phasing flask though, because I keep getting blocked by everything. Honestly, I should just drop this life flask here and trade it for a uh trade it for a phasing. Flasks are something I'm always super lazy on with progressing. I usually just wait till I have like item level 80 flask and then start spam rolling for gain three charges. Also trying this salvage thing on the Blight Towers, it's not very impressive right now, however, it is giving me gold per tower salvaged, so it doesn't hurt to just like salvage a little bit, just a click. And that node that I'm talking about is literally this node right here. Okay, I don't want these talismans to go away. Stop it. Get out of here. Some of these might actually be okay, like the basically the Avian Twins one is like fizz taken as but uh we can't sell talismans anyway so it doesn't even matter that's definitely the funnest thing i have to customize the loot filter on this character to hide stuff that i cannot really sell on the currency exchange as we are completely staying true to our rule set where if it doesn't fit in the currency exchange i am not allowed to sell it and the only exception to that is t17 maps although we haven't dropped any t17 maps yet i gotta go get more void stones
All right, that's pretty much map there. Okay, so now let's go talk about a plethora of things. Let's see here. All right, so first up, you'll notice I have a lot of jewels in my build, right? So remember the rules where we're allowed to buy fractured gear, but the problem is that crafting jewels and cluster jewels specifically can be very, very expensive. So we decided to try something out. So I bought fractured fire damage jewels. This is all pulling from yesterday. They were about 5C each. Um, so I bought maybe like five of them and I basically came to my harvest bench and most of them were spammed with reforged life trying to get a life roll with a fire damage roll and then something else. Occasionally it did not hit that. Another one that I was doing is reforged fire. So you'll notice this jewel, for example, has like fire damage, which is the fracture, maximum fire res, which is why I kept it, and the curse effect reduction. I do want max res jewels to help push me to 90. Over here, we've got a reduced poison duration, maximum life, and fire damage jewel that was spammed with the reforged life. Um, down over here, you can see I have a fire damage, maximum life, recoup, and then fire and cold res. I believe this one was also with reforged life. And then down here, you can see another one which has the life roll with a area damage roll. Only downside, my jewels don't have dot multi, which is way more better than increases. So that, that pretty much covers my jewels. Uh, as for the cluster jewel, if you look over here, I bought my cluster jewel base for about 10 chaos. I was buying an item level close to 70. Um, the reason I was getting it close to 70, and now you can already see they're going up in price here, but um, the reason I want it close to 70 is because the closer to, to 68, actually, uh, the easier it is to hit notables because the notables typically stop at 68 with some exceptions. But basically, alt spammed, I got prismatic heart, and then I believe I regaled disorienting display, and now we just have a cluster with basically prismatic heart. Over here, I have a Fan the Flames cluster. You guys saw that in the video yesterday. We literally just used one alteration. And then today I exalted it and got myself exposure therapy. So that is pretty cool. That is this one right here. Now, moving into some of the next ones. Um, this was the Divine Teardrop. Um, so as we just set this Atlas up yesterday, we ran actually, like literally, our first map on this yeah. Atlas. And we dropped the Divine Teardrop, which, as you saw there, sold for six Divines on the Currency Exchange. Over here, we have our Elder Helmet. Now, the Elder Helmet, just like on the website, the budget version of Elder Helmet is crafting with Reforged Fire to try to get Conk and Burning. Uh, here, after about 3,000 Life Force, we hit a Conk effect with a Burning and a T3 Life Roll. So to finish this, we just craft plus the gems as the prefix, and then that is pretty much done. Um, then we also have the Starforge six link over here. So essentially, remember how I told you guys I bought 1500 fusings for a very cheap amount? Let me see if I actually have a screenshot. Here's a screenshot of me buying them at 90. You can see all the order completions, right? So over here, the only downside is, uh, we had enough fusings. I bought 1500, but I had to run a tier 16 map to be able to actually unlock the ability to bench link it for a bench craft for a six link. So we actually gambled and I just used 1500 fusings. It actually used, I think, 1498. It's kind of crazy. So close, right? So close. Um, and then, unfortunately, I don't think I have the shield because I forgot to link it. So I do apologize on the shield craft. It's here somewhere. I can. I have the screenshot of me buying the shield. I just uh, linked the wrong thing. By accident, I linked myself the create clip instead of the actual shield clip. So essentially, we bought ourselves a shaper shield base for 5C. And then I spent about 3,000 life force trying to roll it. It did not roll shit. So we tried our other method, which is fossils, which at this stage in the league, fossils, I believe, are much cheaper. So we came over and used... Let's see here. Uh, we used these here, so pristine life fossils with the primitive chaotic resonator. And we got really lucky and we hit life on block at 5%, T2 life regen, socket gem reservation, which is kind of crazy, but I don't think I can do much with that yet. And then we got a T6 life roll, we crafted armor, and I exalt slam for the 27 life. Uh, other than that, you've now seen my weapon from yesterday. You guys saw how we got the cloak. Um, you guys saw the shield. The boots, actually, I picked up in yesterday's video when we were doing a Jun encounter and we unveiled them. You saw me buy the Immortal Flesh. 
I'm still using gloves I picked up off the floor, and you saw the Elder Helm. So pretty much everything is good. And then the amulet I also picked up off the floor and identified. Uh, I definitely want to move into fractured gloves. Um, fractured gloves would be really big because then I can craft a pair of gloves and I can drop this cluster jewel or fan the flames. It's really good. I just want to push myself into area clusters to prep for the hateful accuser setup. Um, other than that, I believe we have pretty much talked about everything on the character. Uh, again, as for where we're going now, I definitely want to buy a fractured pair of gloves, a fractured pair of boots. I may skip the boots and just go for Annihilation's approach, but I cannot sustain them yet. So definitely gloves. Um, thinking of maybe working on crafting a new Elder Belt. Um, I have to figure out how to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I was going to go for an Arc Demon Crown, but in terms of cost, an Arc Demon Crown is a lot more expensive because I would have to buy the base, which is not expensive, but then I would have to use a shit ton of Life Force to basically reforge into the correct influence, which was just a lot. Now that we actually have currency, we can kind of work on doing this. Um, and then I would probably say the last thing to do, at some point we want to craft a new weapon, and the purpose of crafting a new weapon is so I can drop Spiritual Aid. Right now we're leaning on Spiritual Aid because our weapon is essence crafted with the 90% increased damage for minions only. So to move off of Spiritual Aid, we want to ditch the minion damage on our weapon. Anyway, we're going to be figuring out a lot of stuff kind of as we go. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. But also consider checking out the stream at twitch.tv slash pox. We'll be, like I said, progressing this character probably for the rest of the week and pretty much seeing as how it goes. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. We did also happen to clear our first two void stones. So either an Exarch or no problem. And then we'll be working on Maven and Uber Elder in the next couple of days. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and link the Atlas and the POV of this character in the comments below. I'll see you guys all on the live stream. Take care, everybody.